Ken Surf's here. We're in the shave den. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna answer a tag video in this shave, and I'm also gonna do a shave with one of the uh, artisan soaps that uh, this tag video is for. And uh, I was tagged by Atlas Shaving, who was tagged by Kevy Shaves. Uh, that if you had only five artisan soaps for the rest of your life, what would they be? Now, I have a lot of soaps. So right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you, a lot of the soaps that I use, I won't consider them artisan because they're big companies. You know, they're big companies like uh, Tobbs, Taylor of Old Bond Street, uh, Prorosso, uh, uh, maybe uh, Sterling. They're a lot bigger companies than uh, these small artisan companies are. So what I did is again, like uh, the tag video I did with the uh, razors, I looked around and I, I, I wanted to see the maybe the five that I've been finding myself using most often. And uh, I've come up with some, but of course, tomorrow this could change. As of this date, these are the five that uh, I would be happy if I uh, was stuck with for the rest of my life. All right, I will show you the five or, eight, or the five soaps in just a moment, but I will show you what I'm gonna be using today because if you can't tell, I really need a shave. I'm bringing out the, uh, the lawnmower, man. It's gonna mow this down. The Mula R41, the original one the aggressive one. And I have a Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade in there. It's kind of mild, so I'm hoping that it does okay. I don't feel like getting cut today, so we'll see how it goes. I will be using that today, and I will be using uh, La Aquitaine Poisson, the uh, nice, soft, synthetic brush, and I will be putting that into the Crystal Skull to soak. All right. Five soaps. Again, difficult choice. It's subjective. This is my opinion today. Tomorrow it could change. And they're not in any random order, but uh, one of them I found myself really liking that uh, I had just tried recently was Heather from Spearhead Shaving Company, Seaforth Heather. I really uh, enjoy this. It's uh, got a really nice scent, oh, really nice scent, and it seems to do the job very well. So that's one of them. One of the uh, classic ones from uh, Black Ship Grooming Company, Tortuga. I really enjoy the scent of Tortuga. It's a, got a much sweeter scent. Again, it smells like candy. You could probably <laughs> be tempted to eat this, but don't. Don't ever eat your soaps. But it definitely is a sweet smelling soap. All right. This one from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and they're almost on the border of not being an artisan soap company anymore because they're, they're, they're pretty big, man. They, they sell a lot of products, but uh, still, as of this moment, I would consider them an artisan soap company. And I like Doppelganger. Doppelganger, uh, the CK5 formula or CK6 formula. Yeah, CK6 formula. I've been using this a lot. It's got a, a mellow smell, but uh, it lathers, and it really, really... Uh, helps with the shave to avoid getting cuts. And, uh, you know, uh, Doug has a lot of uh, scents out there, but this is one that I've been finding myself using most often. All right, this one from South Africa, Master Soap Creations, handcrafted in South Africa. This is the coldest soap. I mean, it, it, it has, uh, it, uh, it'll make your eyes water. Uh, there's some there's some soaps out there, menthol soaps uh, that I've tried in the past that I guess are no longer. I don't know if Arctique is still available, but uh, this soap, this had my eyes like red and in fact right now, <laughs> right now it's watering. The, uh, the 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 scent of this is strong and it's a great soap and I was glad to have the opportunity to try it. I do believe that this is going to be available. I think it was at West Coast Shaving is going to be carrying one of the one of the local companies here in the U.S. is going to be carrying this soap now. And uh, if you like icy cold feeling menthol feeling, this is definitely the way to go. I was saddened to hear that one of the soap companies that that I've been working with since its inception, uh, they were uh, retired military, and uh, they came up Victory Victory Shaving Company. This is going to be their last year, I'm told. And it's a shame. I mean, COVID obviously has impacted so many businesses, but uh, their soaps are come with the nose art from World War II bombers and uh, US, US military bombers. And 
I, I really hate to see them go. I enjoy the tins. I've got a good collection at Bombardier right around here. In fact, it's right here. I use I use their soaps a lot, and it's it's sad to see that they're going to be going out of business. So here's a tip: you're not going to be able to get these anymore. Uh, this is going to be their last year. If you want to try some, keep them for your collection, even for the the tin itself. This would probably be the way to go. And that is my fifth soap, and this is the soap I'm going to be using today. Uh, I, I find it to be a very, as you can see, I've been putting it into the shea bowl, just uh, scooping it out, putting it in the shea bowl. I'm going to lather up right from the tin today. Uh, each batch is numbered. They have limited edition ones. And I'm sorry to see them closing down. I really am. I'm sorry to see a lot of these businesses that are no longer with us uh, for this past crazy year that we've had. All right. I have a desperate need. I just dropped the R41 into the sink, just like my son was doing. Remember, if you watch his video, you'll hear he's banging this uh, banging this razor against the uh, sink to try to clear the whiskers out of it. And I won't be doing that today. So, thank you for joining me. I need a shave. Let's get this shave started. Okay, nice hot water. Got the uh, Plasson, not to be mistaken for the Plasoft, which is uh, almost the same. But the uh, this one, I, I watched when I was starting out. I watched a lot of the YouTubers and the, the big heavy hitters using this brush. And uh, man, look, first of all, the soap. You see me use these soaps before. It's not necessarily a endorsing a, a soap in today's video, or or. It's just the five that I could live with if I had to. Right off the bat. Nice scent. They have a hand soap too. I'm gonna have to order a few bars from, uh, from Victory Shaving that my wife and daughter really enjoy. Uh, they're out, so I'm gonna have to order some. See if I can keep this out of my nose this time. Yeah, I did that tag video last week and I have not had a shave in probably four days. And I really need one. It's lunchtime right now on Tuesday. I figure what better time to take a break from WebEx meetings. I don't have a video on my a company computer, so they can't see how grizzly Adam's looking, I'm getting. Very nice soap. All right. Now, I usually pop a feather in that R41. Let's see how we do with a milder blade today. Let's hope. all the way. It does warrant a second pass, but man, one pass almost gets it all. See? Definitely can't go wrong with an R41. Hope everybody has been doing good. For the last, for, man, the last probably five or ten years, my birthday is in March, and uh, every March my daughter buys us tickets, or we go to Disneyland, uh, to celebrate my birthday. I love Disneyland, and my daughter is the only one in my family who'll go on the fast rides with me, and we go every year, and of course, for the last, for this year, my birthday, unable to go. Disneyland was closed. Last year, it was closed, but I got tickets to go in about five days. Uh, I think June 5th, Saturday, but they're only allowing 35% occupancy. Can you believe it? If you go to Disneyland, that is going to be incredible. Have to wear a mask. That's okay. Ooh, got me. Got an Under Armour sports mask that helps me breathe. I can run in it. Shouldn't talk when you're shaving your upper lip, can I? They're opening a new Spider-Man ride in California Adventure. So what I think I might do is I might even shoot like a small documentary of what Disneyland looks like in quarantine still, 35% occupancy. 
I've been seeing a lot of celebrities go because they can go unnoticed with that mask on. Justin Timberlake, the Kardashian, a lot of them have been going. So it should be fun. I'm just debating on whether I should make the video or not. And then June 15th, the governor's open up the entire state again. So we'll see how it goes. I'm glad to get into Disneyland before that happens, because otherwise you know, you're not going to get on any rides. There's going to be so many people. Oh, and they're only letting Southern California, California residents in right now. I don't know. That's kind of you know bad for a lot of you. Good for me, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Did I nick myself just a tad? Maybe. Oh man, the neck feels great. And that's the part that I fear the most shaving, because that's the part that I cut the most. All right, we'll go a second pass just to do a little touch up. Yeah, I think this is the last tag video I have to do. I believe I'm done. It's not that I don't like tag videos, it's just that if I don't hear about them, don't do them, you know, not being a snob, I just don't like tagging people. So that doesn't mean I couldn't take a suggestion, hey, try this out, try that out. Got some new items that have just arrived, I have to open up and see. New products to try. Saw Army of the Dead at the movie theater. Got to wear a mask the whole time, but uh, man, that was kind of a good movie. If you haven't seen that, and now it's on Netflix, free on Netflix. I think it's free, but uh, it's on Netflix. It was kind of cool. If you like horror movies. When I was young, growing up, I was really afraid of horror movies. Just the commercial for Dawn of the Dead in 1976 gave me nightmares. Then, I think 80, 81, went and saw John Carpenter's The Thing. Loved it, loved it. And ever since then, I can't get enough of horror movies. Scary movies are awesome. Gotta go with my brother. My, uh, my good friend, cool, cool Friday night out. First time in 15 months. And uh, I think I mentioned, or maybe I didn't, but this Saturday I get to go to a 50th uh, birthday party for one of my wife's friends, her maid of honor from the wedding. It's going to be kind of a fancy party, black and white, uh, formal. So I'm gonna dress like this guy right here, uh, Inspector. I've got a white sport coat, black uh, slacks. I'm gonna, it's gonna be kind of cool to get out with people and dress up again. Maybe I'll shoot some scenes from that. Just, cause, uh, I never owned a white sport coat before. I'll probably get it dirty with salsa or uh, food in the first 10 minutes. been dry here, so I'm not going to use a uh, alcohol-based aftershave today. I'm going to be using, uh, skin's been really dry. I'm going to be using this today. So let's rinse off. It's almost like a two birds with one stone video. I needed a shave. I haven't seen you guys in a while. And I needed to fulfill my, I've just inhaled some soap, the tag video. All right, shake this up. Oh, yeah. 
Oh man, look, bit of a burn. I tell you that R41 takes the top layer of skin pretty good, man. Even this has got a bit of a burn to it today. Pondering that goatee again, I kind of miss it, but we'll see. All right, well, there we go. Those are the five soaps as of this day that uh, if I had to use, you know, for the rest of the life, I would choose them. Tomorrow you ask me, probably things are gonna change. I have a lot of soaps, man, a lot of soaps. I mean, Fine has some good soaps coming out again and uh, they have some other old stuff and a lot of the big companies, but you know, randomly, I just picked the ones that were around here, works great. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your subscriptions. Uh, stay safe, everyone. And I do look forward to seeing you again later on this week. Uh, bye for now.